My name is Colton from Zim2 Capital. Today I'm here with the President and CEO of Core Assets, Nick Rodway. Nick, thanks for coming in. We're glad to finally have you here. Well, um, as always, I'm thrilled to be here, and I'm sorry I couldn't be in earlier. Just you know, very busy, obviously planning for the drill season, getting news together, and you know, I couldn't be more excited here at the moment because drills are turning. Of course, you were just at the property as well. No, I, I have not been at the property oh. yet. Um, I'm heading up now in about two weeks, okay. and I'll, I'll be up there for about 15 days, or, or probably a little bit longer. So I can't can't wait to get up there now. So let's talk about the recent news. So June 19th, you uh, announced that you're starting the 2023 drill program up in the Silver Line project. So 2022 was the initial drill program. No one's ever put a drill hall up there before. So 2023, it looks a little bit different. What's the theory behind this year's program? Uh, so I guess the in 2022, you know, like you said, we didn't have any drill holes there. We were looking for information. And while we were looking for information, not only did we uh, get some good structural data, we also uncovered massive sulfide in limestone, basically every time we hit limestone. Every hole almost, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then we also had some porphyry mineralization as well, which, you know, it's again, we're checking boxes here, mm -hmm. trying to determine how big of a CRD this is. And obviously right now things are looking really, really good. And this year now is following up on a more targeted program and is focused on the massive sulfide that is located in our limestone marble, you know, calcium rich unit. So we have uh, drill pads that are planned out and we started, drill started turning there about four or five days ago. And we don't know how many holes we're going to do, but we, we're gonna try to do around 3,500 meters and hopefully we're gonna do a lot more and it's going to be targeted towards these structures that we've mapped at surface. Mm -hmm. We hired on a consulting company that specializes in geologic structures and they did a, over the winter, they did a, a desk-based study, uh, which was followed up by uh, a ground truthing, which happened in the past month uh, in the area. And now we've come to the conclusion that we have some very uh, heavily folded beds in the area, which could create stacked mineralization mm -hmm. in the form of mantos or chimneys. And and it, as you see in the, the news release we had there, figure one, mm -hmm. it's kind of the theory that we have is that the beds are compressed together big time, and then within that they're doubly folded as well. And like the red color in in the diagram is is showing massive sulfide, and and that's not just a you know the the deformation is, is a theory at this point and will be proven with drilling, but the fact that massive sulfide exists is, is true because we've already intersected it at the Grizzly in yeah. the subsurface and then at the Peats area and the Galley area we can see that surface. And, and uh, you know something to note on that diagram is I think I think it has a scale on it of about a kilometer, 1.3 kilometers. Yeah, and we'll put it up on the screen too. Yeah, yeah. and that, that is compressed in, right? So if you take that and you pull it apart, mm -hmm. You know how much how larger, many how many that? kilometers yeah, is that, that, right? So that's the real exciting part. Is it's the you know the regional site of this thing, and and how all these beds are connected, and they are favorable units for the massive sulfide. So we we could ex be into a extreme district style play yeah. here, you know. And and I think this drilling this year is going to really break through. So yeah, and it seems a lot more targeted. I know last year it was a lot of just kind of figuring out where to start, yeah. and and this year it's. You've got a good plan, it seems like. So uh, I guess the drills are should be turning now, or they are turning. turning yeah. yeah, they've been turning for the past four days. Okay, and we're doing oriented core as well. So what that means is we know it, we can measure the foliations and the fractures when they come out, up out of the ground, because otherwise you don't know. There's a 360 degree variation of, of where yeah. the core could come from. So it spins in the barrel coming mm -hmm. up. But now this year we're going to be able to see the contacts of the carbonate replacement oh, okay. mineralization, which generally it follows. Dike, diking units which are um, non-permeable so it follows a non-permeable unit and, and your limestone is your permeable unit mm -hmm. so you can measure those those um, contacts right. and it gives you a better idea then you can you can uh, measure at surface because obviously there's no vegetation there or anything yeah. so we can see our bedrock of surface you can measure at surface and then match up in mm -hmm. the subsurface and if you hit mineralize if you can see mineralization at surface and it continues down then you should be able to continue to drill into it yeah. and and you have information in the subsurface which we never had before so right. 
So the so the initial program is you're in that Pete's area and that Grizzly area. There are a bunch of other targets. Correct. Is that going to be planned for the rest of the program, or what's the plan there? Yeah, so we're going to start at Pete's, and mm -hmm. you know we'll be tagged into the mineralization. The theory is that it's continuous, and we're going to try to continue to drill as much as we can from each pad. Mm -hmm. And then while they're drilling at Pete's, you know they're going to be constructing pads at Galley, right. and then also we already have a pad up near near the area of Grizzly where we want to be. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we're going to probably follow up on our intersection that we had there that was about 5.6 meters mm -hmm. of, I think it was just over 10% zinc lead combined and around 250 grams silver, you know, some a little bit of gold in there mm -hmm. and some and copper as well. We're going to follow up on that drill hole and get the orientation of it, of the mineralization. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we'll, we'll move along the ridge as necessary with with new drill pads and we'll you know we're here, we're here in um, you know mid-june here we got a lot of time left you know yeah. july august september october and we might even be able to drill in november yeah if we're lucky weather's been good you know snow cover's not too bad mm -hmm. uh, as you as you figure out more information obviously the snow becomes least less of a problem yeah. it's more just about running water which we have plenty of that of course so mm -hmm. well it sounds like you have a plan for this season and it's going to be uh, a lot of new things coming down the pipe but we might you know hear from you for a few weeks here i guess is, is there's going to be a bit of work done you're going up there and so there's going to be a bit of time here yeah i'll be up i'm going to be logging core and just yeah. doing geological work up there but uh you know we'll still try to update uh, two to, every two to three weeks yeah. and uh, as information becomes available we will put it out and, mm -hmm. and you know we think we're going to be able to get some assays back a lot quicker this year than last year yeah but we're going to be doing a lot more holes they're a lot shorter you know mm -hmm. they're every hole is going to be around 50 to 200 meters okay. in in length and it all it all depends on how much marble or limestone we're encountering because mm -hmm. if you're in the limestone that's where you want to be right yeah. like you're not going to get replacement unless you're you're in the limestone unit so that's very important and we're, we're going to learn a lot this year and i think we're going to pull some some really nice numbers yeah and I mean last year you had some pretty good numbers too so I think if you follow up with another set of numbers this year then it's gonna be looking good in the fall winter time yeah dude, just connecting the dots too yeah. you know and, and, and figuring it all out and getting a better picture of what it looks in the subservice but I think we got a we got a really good handle on it now starting to build out this mapping in this project and it's it's looking good for everybody so yeah we'll keep updated as we always do and if you have any questions feel free to send them our way or Nick's way and I'm sure he'll be happy to answer them yeah, look forward to the rest of the season and look forward to the next time we speak. Cool. Thanks for coming in, Nick. Have a good one.